all right boys what is up welcome back to a new video so this might be one of the most important videos i make if you want to be like an entrepreneur escape the nine to five because if you're on this channel you know you got to skip the nine to five that's um i encourage you guys like if you're following me if you're subscribing me you know i encourage you guys to not work under anyone have your own business that's the goal that, that's the, the mentality you have you know you gotta be dominant you can't take orders from anyone but in the beginning stages when you're young you're gonna have to work for people so you know a lot of people say oh don't work a nine-to-five just to be a content creator uh, focus on your business don't have a nine-to-five that is true somewhat but if you're young and you're living with your parents you can do that but if you have bills and all that stuff you won't have a uh, cash flow so the way to escape the nine to five is and if you're like you know my age 23 24 25 or or higher um the way to escape the nine to five is you have to sacrifice weekends this is gonna be like really hard it's gonna be a grind like nobody said this shit is gonna be easy you know the grind working your ass off every weekend because if you're like me you know uh I don't work 9 to 5, I used to, but if you're working 9 to 5, what you have to do is work 9 to 5, or, you know, you have your own schedule, so wake up 5 a.m., hit the gym, because, you know, I like to work on all, all aspects of life, like gym, um, mental, mental men, mentality, like having a uh, bulletproof mindset, working on that, getting knowledge, working the job, and also working on the business so you're gonna have to make a lot of sacrifices like i make the sacrifices friendships relationships spending time with family like my my parents i only spend time with them like once a week on fridays and that's when my i have my day off i work a part-time job so i'm blessed enough and i and i live with my dad so i pay him like half of the rent i don't pay the whole rent and I'm lucky enough to have a part-time job and also be working on this content creation and business and personal training. But once I get a nine to five and I'm working on that, I'm gonna have to work twice as hard, three times as hard because because if you have to sacrifice weekends, that's when you have the most time. We're, well, people are people are out drinking, you know, going to the parties, going to restaurants, having social time. You're gonna have to stay in in the weekends and save your money uh save your energy saturday sunday while everyone is out sunday they're with their girl you know they're just cuddling watching a movie you're gonna have to uh work on work on your business work on the grind and you're gonna have to do that for maybe a couple months a year till your business kicks off because because you know a lot of like i said in the beginning of the video people quit their nine to five and they work on the business and they have no cash flow coming in there is benefits to nine to five you have a stable income you get a paycheck every week and yeah you have stable income but if you have your business maybe in the first couple months a year you won't even make any money because you're setting up the foundation you're doing stuff for free content creation stuff like that and then once your business kicks off like maybe you make five to seven k a month then you can just quit your nine to five and Put 100% focus into your business. That's what I recommend. That's what I'm going to do. Like, Once I make like, you know, 5, 7K, 10K a month, then I'm going to quit the 9 to 5. Focus 100% on the content creation, business, personal training, and all that stuff. But for now, like, I have stable income coming in. And in the back of my mind, like, it's less stress because I have bills to pay. And, and that stable income helps me out a lot. If you have when you have your nine to five you don't have a stable income you're not making any money and even if you do make like let's say for example you make like 3k 4k that month maybe that's the best month you're gonna have like some months you, you might make 1k another month you might make 7k another month you might not even make 1000 that month so it all depends on it all depends on you like your business and the day the month so yeah if you want to escape nine to five you have to do that it's gonna you're gonna have FOMO you know I do sometimes too like I see my friends going out um having fun social time 
and it's like 10 46 p.m right now i'm recording this video because uh i'm changing on my schedule but i don't want to talk about that i'm gonna have to make sacrifices i want to pay now instead of paying later i want to set up my future self you know delayed gratification putting all this work in so i can i can set my future self up and never don't have to work as hard have like passive income uh help the business help you guys out and that's the sacrifice you're gonna have to make if you guys are not willing to make that sacrifice uh, sacrificing friends parties staying in on the weekends going to the gym while nobody's there i've been there like I go to the gym uh, Sunday morning, Saturday morning, like no one is in there. I'm the only one in there and I'm just grinding. And it does get lonely, but you know, one day it'll pay off. You have to believe in yourself and that's how you escape the rat race. Like people that work a nine to five, they have this mentality. They, they work Monday through Friday, then they spend the paycheck that weekend, like three, four hundred dollars. Uh, on like bottles, drinking, going out. They just, they say they want to let off a little steam. I am saying like do that like maybe once or twice a month just to like keep your mind fresh because when you keep your mind fresh, you know you have a little break. You're going to do better. Just keep your mind, mind off of things. So I do recommend you do that. I do that like once every two months, once every three months I go out. Like... For me, when I go out, I don't even want to go out unless I accomplish something. If if I don't accomplish anything, like, and while I'm out in my mind, I'm like, I should be home working, studying, doing, uh, creating new ideas, better stuff for the business, and I feel guilty going out because there's no point of going out. Like, what did I achieve? People go out every weekend. I'm like, I'm like, bro, why are you going out? Oh, just to have fun. Because I only go out on special occasions, like maybe someone's birthday, a holiday, I achieve something great, you know, and then I go out. I don't just go out every weekend just to have fun. So, and those people that are in the 9 to 5, that's how they stay stuck in the 9 to 5. Because they're like, oh, YOLO, you know, you only live once. Uh, go make the most out of your youth and you will never be young again. No, that that's not true. For women, it is. Yes, they can go out because they have a limited window where where they're beautiful and they're you know young, and they have to find the highest value guy they can. But as men, when we're when we're in our early twenties, mid twenties, we have to put in the work right now because we have the most energy, we have the least amount of responsibilities. We don't have any kids. We don't we're not in a serious relationship so this is the time to set up the foundation then we're like 26 27 then we can start to enjoy later escape the nine to five uh build our own business and not everyone is gonna make it honestly like for me i want to make like five to seven k a month like i'm content with that live like uh, live like on my own terms if i want to go uh pack up my bags and go to like thailand or like europe or something i can go i don't have i don't have to uh ask my boss be like hey boss can i get like, a week off for vacation i don't want that shit i want my i want to be my own boss if even if i'm making like five to seven k a month like i'm i'm content with that that's enough for me to make a good living and i want that financial freedom so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the video. So you need the nine to five. Don't quit your job unless you make like a good stable income, maybe five to seven K a month, then you can quit your job. But you need the nine to five to have the cash flow, to have less stress in your mind. And you need to use your weekends very wisely because you won't have enough time in the in the weekdays to actually work on your business. And you are gonna have FOMO, so just just be like, all the girls, all, all the parties is going nowhere. It's going to be there. Like, there's a new girl that turns 18 every day. So, you're good, you know. So, that's pretty much the video. I hope you guys like the video. Subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.